Good evening and welcome to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics from the campus of Millis, Massachusetts, from the campus of Millis High School in Millis, Massachusetts. We bring you the Mohawk girls basketball team as they play host to the Midway Mustangs. Alongside Larry Coe, I am Doug Coots and we are high above the court side here at the Andy Merrick Gymnasium. Second game of a doubleheader this evening. Almost made it through both uh, monologues, era free, Larry. But the show must go on. Got through it. And we are underway. Mohawks in their white home uniforms. Going right to left on your media device with Medway in dark blue going left to right on your media device. We thank you for any and all platforms you're watching us on. Appreciate all the fine men and women back in the studio for allowing us to be here, all the administrators for keeping things available for the fans that are here today. Media family only in this first game in 2022. Start off with a couple of turnovers. And we have another turnover. Caroline Mundy, Kira Rice, Lindsey Gratton, whose long shot is off the mark. Mia Molinari and Olivia Haley Bassett scratch that the five Mohawks on the floor. Turnover. And Haley Bassett knocks down a three, and we are underway. Scratch that. That was Julia Gratton as your one of your five Mohawk starters. We'll get this, Larry. It might be one of the longest whistles. That is a really long whistle. So Molinari charged with that foul. So Callahan Catone, I believe, to the line for three. Touched out of bounds there, so both, both Mustangs and Mohawks in full court press mode. Just underway here from Millis, three nothing. to Molinari and her pass is disrupted and out of bounds. Shannon Mia get her hands to it, almost able to keep it in. Good hustle. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Ball to Gratton. Six seconds, gonna have to go up to Mundy. Throws it at the hoop, no good. Gets the rebound shot, blocked by Maggie Regan. Mohawks retain. Regan with a long reach inside, stepping inside. Off the backboard, no good. Molinari, the rebound. Third or fourth bite from the apple here. Off lost track. I don't know, 
might be having too much fun up here, Larry. <laughs> Ball ends up out of bound off the Mohawks. Mustang break mid-court. Turnovers are plenty. Mustangs just the one shot at the basket so far. Good ball fake. Rice can't handle the pass though. Connected with Amy Johnson, and she is able to connect. Mustangs on the board. 3 2. And a long ball committing that foul. So now Lindsey Gratton into the game. Both Grattons on the floor. High level of difficulty in this one, Larry. <laughs> Foul on Amy Johnson. Pick and roll. Classic couldn't get it to go there. Allowing some physical play underneath. Johnson again, she has all the Mustang points. At and just past the midway point. Points at a premium. Electronic whistle. So it's a foul on, on Maggie Regan. Her first pass it to the line. She knocks down the first. Rice back into the game for your Mohawks. And after all that, we are tied with one more to go. And despite the net entanglement, so Bassett, all four of the Mohawks. All five of the Mohawks points, yeah. If I can add, that's the two foul throws and a three-pointer, and Caroline Muddy will just take that ball away. And then dish to Molinari, all sorts of going on there. Good block. Gratton. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get over that that the length of that button, Larry. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why that is. It is I mean, it is decisive. Go, 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 go. 
And Mundy, another steal. Bullhawks give it away. So as they mark down a fifth turnover against the Mustangs, five against the Mohawks. Ava Hawkman into the ball game for your Mohawks. Just under three minutes to go in this first quarter. a foul there. So Mohawks matching Medway for fouls. Heavy contact there, no whistle. So Johnson with her fifth and sixth points. Mustangs to six and the lead, ball thrown away. Copeland, Katie Bonfin, and Anna Longball into the game for the visitors. We'll do our best as we always do. We we'll appreciate the support on all of our media platforms. Two minutes to go in the first. Points at a premium between these two rivals, and that is out of bounds off of the Mohawks. Conroy into the game for your Mohawks. Onari will just take it all the way. High off the glass, no good. So Medway matching the Mohawks. Seven turnovers apiece. So right at that's a bad spot to be picking up a dribble, trap, and timeout. So 134 to play here in the first. Our score is Mustang six, Mohawks one. So players retaking the court after a timeout. Julia Grant and Mia Monari, Shaylin Conroy. Lindsay Gratton. And Ava Hawkman, the five Mohawks on the floor right now. And it changed, a lot of arms in there, turned over. Bratton pushing it up the floor. Granton let free from three-point range. Omfim committing the foul. Should be Granton for three here. And she is the first non-Mohawk named Bassett to score. So she knots it at six, unknots it. 7-6, Regan back into the game for the visitors. So Grant, three for three from the line.
Wiggins to the left hand off of Bonefame's head and out of bounds. Under a minute. Entry pass doesn't connect. And Reagan connects with her first basket. About 15 seconds. So Mohawks get a timeout. 12.8 to go. It's crazy eights. Players on to the court after a Mohawk timeout. 12.8 to go in the quarter. Mohawks looking to break an 8-8 eight, eight deadlock. The inbounds to Rice, trying to get it inside to Molinari. They get it inside to her. It's gonna have to go up. Off the rim, no. Mundy gets it to go. And Mundy scores. So the Mohawks make the most of that last 12 seconds, all 12 of those seconds. So at the end of one, it is Mohawks 10 to eight. Caroline Mundy, Julia Gratton, Ava Hockman, Kira Rice, and Mia Molinari are for your five Mohawks on the court. 10 8. Mohawks lead, eight turnovers apiece, and Medfield, Medway starts the quarter with their, their ninth. Mohawks able to get that last bucket. And Miha did everything but score there. Another steal, poked away. <laughs> Foul charge to Caroline Mundy. Her first, second team foul. in and out, good rebound by Molinari. <laughs> Lindsey Gratton into the game for your Mohawks. Rebound by the Mustangs. Mohawks the other way. Molinari ahead of the pack. Ball is spilled. And that is stolen. Team Gratton there. to find Mundy, does end up in her hands. So 
conversation by the officials gives it to the Mohawks. It did look like it changed direction, but tough to see from our vantage point, obviously. No, no argument from the Medway bench who was right there, so. Boy, Mia is a handful at the, at the top of this. Shot is blocked. And it won't go. Can swing it on this side. Player's open. There is the open player. Stepped inside, but was met by Regan in her long reach. and can't get it to go. So this time Conroy will let fly, it doesn't go. Foul charge to Julia Groton there. Ellie Copeland in for the visitors. We got some mask violations, players being asked to leave. I think Olivia Hockman came in during that whole exchange. We're just gonna let it ride, Larry. Top of the key three-pointer is no good, good rebound. Stepping in is Anna Longball. If that's on her, that's her second. And it is. Olivia Canary and Callahan Catone in for the visitors and Mel Molinari for your Mohawks. Four and change to go, 4.30 to go, a little more than change. Well defended by the Mustangs. So. Mohawks will get it on the alternate possession. Maybe. prevailing over there. The referee's working it out. So Haley Bassett back in for your Mohawks. Off the ref, and the ref is part of the court. Break for the Mohawks. And Mundy converts. I think she would have got to it anyway. Good poke by Rice. Mustang still possess. Nice block. But again, the Mohawks coming. And a traveling violation, so Bassett with the block.
All right on the, the timeline there. The three-pointer from Kira Rice is good. Mohawks to 15. Medway still looking for their first bucket in this quarter. Boy, it is, uh, it is physical play down there. I mean, just not calling anything either way, in fairness. So that will be a whistle, and Johnson is able to get it to fall. So Hawkman got her arm tangled up. So mass substitutions, looks like Molinari in for your Mohawks. Several for the Mustangs. So the Mustangs 0 for 4 from the charity stripe. Box out, but Johnson comes around. Another chance for the Mustangs is up and good by Longball. Four for the Mustangs. Mustangs galloping forward. And the bucket's good. So you get some yelling from the coaches and the fouls start to pour in. Copeland with the bucket. Boom team into the game. Foul charged to Bassett. Almost dropped my score sheet there, Larry. So the three-point play, knots it at 15. Mustangs a 7-0 run here, 124 left in the quarter, 15 apiece. So Mustangs aggressively to the hoop. Three straight whistles. Gratton charged with her second. <laughs> Riley Conroy into the game along with Ava Hawkman. Uh, immediate family members only tonight, plus Larry, and uh, you can hear a lot of. Uh... You can hear everything from the crowd, a lot of helpers for the officials. They have a hard job, that's for sure. Good block by Bassett, does not draw a whistle. Ended up on the end, the baseline. Mustangs continue to gallop on. It's been a long time since Millis has scored. Molinari double team, gets it off, blocks. About a seven second differential shot clock and halftime game clock here. Oh, 
Mohawks the other way. Oh, rescued, sent to Molinari, can't get it to go. Couple of bites out of the apple that time. You can hear the countdown. On the three-pointer near the buzzer from Maggie Regan. Now we saw some balls go down in and out. That one was more than three quarters down. It rattled out somehow. So we have reached halftime from Middle Star Score, Medway 18, Mohawks 15. And welcome back to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. Well, we have witnessed an exciting first half where the visiting Medway Mustangs take a 18 to a 15 lead over your Millis Mohawks. Mohawks scored the first five points of that third quarter and then Med Medway ran off the next 10 points. 15 turnovers for Millis, seven in that second quarter alone, 12 for Medway. Amy Johnson leading the scoring with eight for Medway. Mundy with four for your Mohawks. And Bassett with five. Alongside Larry Coe, of course, we are high above the court side here at the Andy Merrick Gymnasium. And we are underway with the second half. Caroline Mundy, Kira Rice. Lindsey Gratton. Haley Bassett. And Mia Molinari, your five Mohawks. Good rebound by the Mohawks, absorbing some contact there and the foul. So Callahan Catone committing the foul there. Turnover. Well, it seems like when one team gives it away, the other comes right in, gives it right back. Shannon Mia committing the foul there. So two quick fouls on the Mustangs. Her first though. Mohawks five for five from the line. In that first half, Medway two for five, two for seven. And Mia rattles home a three point shot. It looks like another turnover in the making, and it is. And stop is good for Johnson. Timeout on the floor, 6.57 to go. Medway coming out strong, 23-15. Mm -hmm. So a quick five points from Medway. Mustangs will come full court. Mohawks unable to get that in. in that corner, it's so hard to get an inbounds. And a Mohawk steal, Mundy.
Defended there, forced a pull-up jumper from Regan. Mohawks need a good look here. That is a good look. Doesn't end up hitting anything, so to the Mustangs. Ball stolen. Skelter, Larry. No one can uh, back and forth. Blocked out of bounds by Reagan. Mundy drives and scores. Nice play, came around. Mustangs break the press. Ball stolen. Now well, that play was destined to have difficulty. So the Mustangs end up with a bucket at the other end. with a tough bucket. Five minutes to go in this third. Been a frantic defensive pace. Open three, top of the key is nothing but net. Long ball banging home, knocking home the open three, and we have a timeout. 4.53 left. Score is 28 19. Mohawks coming onto the field. It is Gratton, Rice, Mundy, Bassett, and Molinari. It's Julia, that is. Can use a bucket here. Bassett saving that from going out of bounds and Regan taking some contact. That's the second on Bassett. Medway breaking the press with ease that time. Johnson with two more. Oh, and Ari can't find the range. That ball stolen. And hold my soda. Stolen right back. Mohawks oh, seem out of sorts on defense. Another timeout here. It is 32 19. Back to live-ish action. Mohawks with their third timeout this quarter to try and get things settled. Another giveaway. Seventh turnover this quarter. Well, charge to Bassett, her third.
Perhaps that foul was charged to Lily Avakian, who is in the game for your Mohawks. But the beat goes on for the Mustangs. Three-pointer from Johnson. Mohawks just getting that timeout before a turnover. So their fourth timeout this quarter. They trail 35-19. Players coming onto the court. Molinari, Bassett, Mundy, Julia Groton, and Lindsey Groton. The five Mohawks on the floor. Slowing down Johnson right now is to tie her shoe. She has 17. Caroline Mundy rings home a three pointer. Absorbing the contact. Molinari charged with the foul. Shaylin Conroy for your, the, your Mohawks in the game. Has substitutions for the visitors. And Erie makes it a three point play. to the ground and a foul. Bonfim committing her second foul. Both teams just at three. So announcer's curse. Kira Rice and Ava Hockman into the game. So Mohawks five for five in the first half from the line. And Monday makes it one for two. The bucket for Johnson. She has 11 in this half alone. It'll take a timeout here. 119 left. It's 40 to 23. The Mohawks 
onto the floor already, waiting for the Mustangs here. 119 to go in the quarter. Not been a great quarter from the Mohawks. It's Ava Hoffman, Molinari, Mundy, Kira Rice. And Olivia Hoffman, your Mohawks on the floor. Scratch that Haley Bassett. We're trying, Larry. Ava Hoffman is on the court. All right. High level of difficulty here. Larry's nodding. Turnover. Second violation. All right, a game where the Mustangs scored 18 in the first half. They have 22 here in the second, third quarter alone. And Reagan powering her way in for a pair. Believe that foul was on. Molinari, for third. Well, Mohawks get a turnover. Half court heave, good if it goes, and it's off the back one of the rim. So, Third quarter mercifully coming to an end for the Mohawks. Our score at the end of three it is Medway 42, Millis 23. The players coming out onto the court for the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter that saw the Mustangs outscore your Mohawks 24 to eight. Tripling their pleasure, so nine more turnovers, 24 for the game. There's another turnover to start. I have 19 for the visitors, so they're not playing a clean game either. Plenty of time, 12 on the shot clock. And the bank is open for Miss Johnson. Another bucket. Thirteen this half. Caroline Mundy with the rebound and put back. Mohawks oh, can't afford to trade baskets here. I have Johnson for 21. And Reagan stepping to the left. 
And stop me if you've heard this before, Larry, but that to the hands of Johnson and she scores. Along uh, Carton there, her second. with the jumper. So two in a row for your Mohawks. See if they can build on that. Six minutes to go. Clock going to start to be an issue. And to an opportunistic Johnson. I don't think the pass was intended for her, but it bounced right up to her. well defended on that play but Reagan was able to just get it enough to get up and over the rim and in. Mustangs to 50. Long ball committing her third, fifth team foul. Julia Grant into the line. Maddie Williamson into the game for the visitors. One out of two for Granton. Copeland committing the foul. It's a two shot foul. Mustangs at the limit. Might be a way for the Mohawks to try and crawl back into this thing. One out of two. Point of the quarter here, Larry. Four, to, four in, four to go. Oh, Mohawk 
Hawks get the, get the stop they needed there. They need points in bunches. Driving dish, three-pointer up and no good. with the steal. Nice move by Bassett. Doesn't result in points. Five second violation the other way. Long two pointer for Hawkman. She had her foot on the line. For the visitors. 221. Nice block by Conroy. Lauren Shea for the Mustangs. Jalen Conroy knocks down the J. Good. Oh, almost stolen. Riley Conroy and Lily Avakian into the game for the Mohawks. Minute and a half to go, so Mustang's looking to salt this one away. Avakian with a nice rebound and getting this enough space to get it towards the hoop. in committing that foul. And Lily drops the second down.
Vacant among the trees in there. Shailen Conroy for three. Mohawks not going quietly, but probably not enough time to go here. Steal. And bucket. Steal. And bucket. Might be too little too late. And that is gonna do it. That is the final buzzer. The Medway Mustangs use a 24 point fourth, third quarter to power their way to victory over your Millis Mohawks tonight. Thanks once again to all, the, all those back at the studio making this possible, all the administrators here so that we could be here. And alongside Larry Coe, I am Doug Coots, and thank you, and good night.